Now here's a entertaining conspiracy. Is John Lennon still alive? Was he just another celebrity fake death hoax? I mean, for real, check out this. Here's a great example of an Illuminati fake death hoax, okay? Heath Ledger. Just come down here at 3.33 p.m. Paramedics arrive, right? There's other numbers like 3.30 and all this, right? Well, 33 is the Illuminati's big hoax number, you know. It's like their code number so that other members around the world can see the headline news and then they see, you know, 33 and they know it's a big joke or a hoax. But Heath Ledger, there's no doubt this guy is not dead whatsoever. It's just another fake celebrity death. But John Lennon, if you come over here and type in, is John Lennon still alive? And start looking at some of these videos. I mean, this dude absolutely looks like an older version of John Lennon. He sounds just like him. He's under a different name. I mean, there's no doubt, you know. Everything we've been taught is a lie and a deception anyway, so it wouldn't shock me if the dude's still alive. I know Paul McCartney, he was either murdered or in a real car accident back in 1966, and they got a replacement, and it's very obvious. People have figured out it's like so obvious that there really was a replacement, but Paul McCartney replaced John Lennon, probably still alive. Heath Ledger, probably still alive. Most of these celebrity deaths, you know, Michael Jackson is most likely still alive. And I'm willing to bet that somewhere out there, there is a piece of land that we do not know about. And it's probably paradise. It's probably the Illuminati, the elites, you know, secret paradise place where these celebrities can go to. You know, some big island. It's probably got big, beautiful buildings and marble, you know, roads. I mean, who knows? Now here's a great example of an Illuminati fake story. Remember this headline news, this courthouse killer, Brian Nichols, he, he somehow escaped his cuffs in the courtroom and then shot the judge in the head and then shot two or three people and then escaped and then it was uh, this big massive manhunt, you know. Well, let's take a closer look. Atlanta courthouse shooting, Brian Nichols. All right, first of all, Let's see, on March 11th, which is 311, which that is, you know, the 33. And then this guy just happens to be 33 years old. Well, you can just stop right there. Okay, this is how they do it. They put their code number in their fake stories so that when it goes around the world, they're, they're like uh, club members, you know, the Illuminati, the elite they can look at that story and see the 33 and then they laugh because <laughs> they know it's a big hoax. And that's a great example of how they do it, you know. Just like that Heath Ledger, you know. 330, you know. Great example. It's all fake. It's all hoaxes. It's all deception.